A flat file database is a rather broad term meaning any collection of data which is stored in rows or columns in a single file. Uh, a text file such as this one, uh, listing names, addresses and telephone numbers of various people is an example of a flat file system. Also an Excel document containing a table list of information pretty much the same is also an example of a flat file database but the principles always remain the same. Uh, they always contain lists of any type of information which exists in simple written form and they're not electronically related to any other piece of information in any way. Okay, probably the easiest way to visualize a flat file database is a simple spreadsheet such as this one, uh, listing the names, addresses and telephone numbers of all the employees in a fictional office. Okay, across the top each column's got a label listing the category of data underneath it, which is known as the field. Okay, and the rows all contain the information about that particular person, and these ones are known as records. Okay, and also, the, uh, a single piece of information on this spreadsheet, for example, this one, would be known as an item, and obviously the item we're looking at there is Susan Jones's telephone number. Okay, let's take a look at the benefits of the flat file database system. Um, firstly, a flat file database is incredibly easy to set up, since all they are is a text list of information at their simplest and at the most complex all they really are is a single uh, table in a database or a spreadsheet. Uh, they're also very easy to understand and use after setup as data is simply entered in the same way as the previous record um, usually under a previous person so for example if we were wanting to enter someone underneath um, John Williams here we'd easily be able to see without any particular training that the first name went first, the second name went second, and so on, house number, street name. So it's very easy to enter information into a flat file database. Okay, um, but there are some negative sides to them as well. Um, firstly, one of the most fundamental ones is that data is often repeated many times uh, throughout the database. For example, look, if you look at this table, um, you can see that it shows a list of sales that a shop's made, in, including the um, name of the person, their contact number and their order number basically their order number meaning the number assigned to them on that particular time they purchase something okay if one person buys six different items in such as in this example then their information will have to be entered six different times next to each order number as shown um, not only is this incredibly uh, time consuming but also it does allow for mistakes for example here I don't really notice but there's a simple spelling mistake there uh, it doesn't seem that major, but what it means is that this particular record won't show up when a user's searching for it. Um, so it will, if they search for all the purchases made by John Smith, they will all show up apart from this one. That can obviously cause further problems. Uh, for example, if the customer calls up to chase up an item he's ordered, searching by his name won't show up this particular purchase, um, although obviously it has been made. Another exam, another sorry, negative aspect of the flat file system is that there's no uh, what's called referential integrity. Okay, although it sounds um, complicated, referential integrity simply means the direct linking of two different attributes of a database by defining that these two attributes are exactly the same. Okay, for example, with referential integrity enforced, deleting this guy off of this database, John Williams, would automatically delete every other entry for John Williams. But in a flat file database, they have no referential integrity in the way that even if you as a user knows by looking at this database that this John Williams is exactly the same as a, the, another John Williams mentioned, the computer doesn't know this and so removing one example of this will have no effect on all the other times that data is entered. This causes huge problems um, when amending data. For example, if John Williams here decided to move away from Harvard Lane in Stratford and to a different part of Stratford for example then you would have to go through every single reference to that street name under his name and change it. So that's basically all you need to know about flat file databases.